Hello guys and girls and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Well, knock me down and call me Deirdre. Hasn't it been a long time since we played Planet Coaster? I've been really, really looking forward to diving into the brand new vintage pack that is out now. Uh, thank you very much to Frontier for sending me a key. That is very kind of you. And there is so much new stuff that's added to the vintage pack. Two coasters, four or five new rides new machines, hundreds of building items, scenery items, static and animated special effects, scenery blueprints, audio, there's all sorts of things and there's a free part of the update and there's a paid part of the update. So what I'm going to do rather than sort of try and go through that whole list, I'm going to put that in a link below. You can check it out yourself and we are going to dive in and just have some fun and see what we can do. So we are going to start a new sandbox map. We're going to go for Deciduous, quite like the look of that. And this is going to be called Biff Town Park. There we go. No idea why, but that is what we're going to go with. So, yeah, we're going to just put together a nice looking vintage park. And we're going to just use the vintage items that come with the new vintage pack as well. Because, aha, people are here already. They've heard about Biff Town Park and there's nothing there. So they're disappointed they're leaving again. <laughs> So, let us first of all set the day to 10am. There we go. So, we get a bit of light going on. So, if we have a look through here, if I remember correctly, we can filter stuff to just be from the vintage pack. There we go. So, that might be a good idea. Is that going to do filters for everything? Content pack, vintage. Yeah, let's just stick to the vintage stuff. And then we can have a look through and we can we can have some fun, can't we? Is that DLC items? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these packs I don't have. It's just that I've actually downloaded maps and things um, that do have those on. And it will show you. There we go. There's some of the new rides. Content pack. Uh, so what's this one here? Track rides. So I guess there's no track rides in this one. Okay, we'll put that one on. And then we've got some more coasters to look at as well. So, vintage, there we go. Oh, look at that one. The twist and tussle. And then the blueprints as well. Content pack. And I thought there was some stuff for in here. But I guess we'll find that as we go along. Got loads of blueprints from the workshop. So, excited to do that. Well, let us start off first of all with... We can close that down. Let's run our path in. Where are we? Where's it all gone? There it is. Uh -huh. Same old weird freaky ca camera that we get from time to time. Let us make a bit of a path going in here. And I always want when we get in to a new theme park. We've got obviously our entrance uh, that we want to put down here. So let's have a look and see if we've got some entrances. So we've got large Baroque building, large Baroque building 2. And I'm, I'm wondering whether these are actually <laughs> from... It says vintage. Let's have a look at these then. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow, that is rather nice. That is rather nice. That is rather nice as well. Let's zoom out a bit. Flipping it, that's huge. But I'd like to find... Ooh, Planko Planko. That is looking like an entrance, isn't it? But I'm pretty sure that there is also an entrance entrance. So we've got Brock Drink Shop, Victorian Drink Shop. Oh, the Victorian stuff. Information kiosk, toilets, amusement, vintage park entrance. This is what I'm... This is how we do it. This is what I'm looking for. There we go. Getting it all lined up nicely. Yes, excellent. And then we've got these entrances here as well that we want to hook up to. So let us see if we can do that. So you're going to let me hook into there. Yeah, nice. Let's go down, go there, and hook into there. Excellent, there we go. So people can now come in and join. It's open, you can cut. There's nothing to see, though. So, you know, that's understandable. They're not, they're not rushing in when there's nothing to see. So let's add in our path along here. Okay, there we go. So we've got an entrance, and we've got something nice for people to look at when they come in. Let's just have a look at some of the cool things that we can add. From the scenery for the vintage pack. We've got it, yeah, we've got it set to vintage. Excellent. I don't think that will change anything. But look, oh my goodness me, there is so much stuff that's been added. Look at these cool letters and things. Oh my goodness me, we could certainly, we could certainly do something with these, couldn't we? Yeah, 
There we go. Just to get people excited about coming into our park. It's coming home. <laughs> it's coming home. <laughs> right, okay. So before we start adding any of the rides and things, which we've got a lot of, we will want to do that in a minute. I want to put some buildings around here. So we've got the Vintage Amusement Arcade. There we go, sort of entrance, and that has got, there we go, built-in items in there that people can come and uh, come and play, which is really good. We've got the toilets, information kiosk. That's going to be like the first thing that we want people to have a look at when they come in. So they're going to need help. Uh, where is that going to connect to? Is that going to connect to... There it is, there's the person. So when you walk in, you want your vintage information. Let's line that up. And I'm even thinking, because I like this little looking building so much, that we might add two of these, like one opposite the other one. Oh, is that like a back and a front? Oh no, it's automatically spun round for me. Perfect. So how far away is that going to be? I reckon about there. There we go. Look at that. Information kiosks. As soon as you walk in, that is exactly what you want to see. And then, let's have a look. A Victorian Hotel, food shop and drink shop. So I'm thinking these are going to sort of go in the middle. And they have, if you have a look, a connection on three sides, which is just perfect for this little spot here. So if we can get these to sort of hook up here in the middle. So this is that one, which is the food shop. And then we'll take our drink shop. And we'll see whether that's connecting up. There's nothing on the back. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And we'll do the same with this one. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're in sandbox mode, so you're going to start telling me that we're not making enough money and stuff like that. I really don't mind. Let's just see. Oh, that's like, for eyeballing it, that is not bad at all. So, are you excited to see some, uh, some of this on my channel? Let me know. Oh, it's not going to connect up properly. Look, oh, I hate it when pards do that. We'll probably see if we can fix that. Yeah, we need to move this back a bit. If you're excited to see some Planet Coaster, did I say Park Life? I might have done it. If you're excited to see Planet Coaster, let me know in the description below. But I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go with that one there. That still hasn't quite lined it up right, has it? Mm. Yeah, we'll sort of leave it like that. It's near enough. If there's a way of sort of tweaking paths so they don't do that, let me know. See, that one's perfect. I eyeballed that one perfectly. There, there we go. Very, very good. That's, I think that's that's near enough. That's near enough. So people are coming in to buy the food and the drink. Okay, It's coming home as well. So they can be excited about that. Excellent. So that's going to start helping us make money. What are you telling us up here? Our profits. Well... We need to actually get... Let's have a look now. We need to hire some staff. So we need a janitor. Let's pop in our first janitor. There we go. And we can also change the colours of these guys as well. They've got the colour swatch thing going on down here. So we've got... Let's have a look. Let us pauseify this one second. There we go. So what can we change? What can we change? I'd like to sort of make him look a little bit more vintagey. So I'm thinking like, oh, there we go. Look at that. Does that look like vintage to you? Change the color of his boots to black. Black welly boots. Gloves. They should be yellow Murray gold, shouldn't they? <laughs> there we go. That is not bad at all. Freddy Travis. Freddy Travis, you are going to be renamed after one of my patron supporters. That's what I do in my games. You are going to be called... You're going to keep the Travis. Let's remove that. You're going to be called Owen Travis. There we go. Welcome to the park. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. You know who you are. Thank you very much. Cool. There we go. I want a big build it. I don't know. What do you want at the back here? I'm thinking maybe a ride. Some sort of ride to catch your eye. Let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got like the Centrum. Oh, do you remember this? This spins and lifts up. That's fantastic. The Hurricane. Cool. The, what's that one called? I missed the name. Loop. Oh my goodness, the loop to loop. The round the world. Oh, do you remember ever going on one of these? That thing spins, makes you feel sick. Test flight. I'm thinking a nice big tool. Loop to loop. Or something like that. I don't want it in the middle. I want it sort of 
two or three of them up here at the sides. Yeah, let's let's just run some paths. Right, let's put a couple of rides over here somewhere. Let's start with or oh, test flight, I think, would be a good one. Let's go with that. And we'll sort of line that up a little bit out there. So we've got a bit of space. We'll place the entrance. I'm going to put the queue system going up along here. And then we'll place the exit on the opposite side. Connect entrance to path. So if we sort of bring this round over here. Let's see. I don't know how busy this is going to be. Well, actually, at the minute, this is like our only ride. So this is going to be super busy. We're going to have lots of people. Oh, we've got to have that bit of queue there that makes you think you're almost there. But you're not. <laughs> you know the piece I mean. There we go. We're going to go up and down like that. And hopefully that will match up pretty much perfectly into that corner there. There we go. It's open. Come and join the ride, and then we can carry on with our normal path. There we go. Down the side here. Let's go down here like this. There we go, and our exit can connect up to there. Perfect. There we go. I like that. So let us take a look at this. We probably need to do... We don't have staff. Oh, okay. Place a staff building. Uh, let's do that then. Is this like the only staff building we have? Is there like a vintage staff building or are we literally stuck with the uh, staff? Let's see. Nothing coming up in there. Oh, be on the shops and facilities, won't it? Oh, no. Hang on. Staff. Staff building. Yeah, that's literally it. We have the staff building. Okay, where shall we put that? We could sort of sneak that in like around the back here, couldn't we? We go like that. And just have a little path that runs down to it. Uh, so if we make that a bit smaller. Just for our staff. So they've got somewhere to go. Oh man, I wish path would line up the way that you want it to. There's got to be a way to do it. No, no, no. Angle snap. I bet that's it. Oh, there we go. Angle snap. I found it. I knew there was something. Excellent. Good. So we've got a staff building. There we go. Current capacity three. Yep, you carry on with that. That will just do for now. Right, we haven't opened this ride yet. Let's take a look at this. Should we give it a test flight? There we go. Who remembers one of these? Can we do a ride camera? So this is a cinematic ride camera. Let's just take a look at this. Now, if I remember correctly, when you go on this, the, uh, the plane is going to start spinning around. People can, like, yank a, yank a crank inside the plane. And it will start absolutely going for it. Which, you know, some people like, some people don't like. There we go. That's the one. Yeah, let's just open it. Yeah, it's all working fine. Uh, I don't think I'm going to... A lot of litter. Make sure there are bins. Oh, yeah, we'll get some bins around. I think we'll go with that one there. While people are coming in to find that one, let us set up one of the other new rides over here. So I'm thinking of the Centrum. This is something I absolutely love going on as a kid. So let's try and sort of... I'm not going for perfect placement here of all these things. We're just going to have some fun. So the entrance is down the bottom here. There we go. The exit is going to go over there. Let's connect that to the path. There we go. Let us get this one open as well. There we go. Oh, I love this one. This is the one where you stand to your back to these things and then it spins like bilio. Good grief. We need to get some... Oh, here we go. People are coming in. Let's have a look. Yep, they're rushing in, which is what we want to see. Ooh. Oh, look. What's this? Film grain effect... <gasps> Can we go for... Oh, the vintage look. <laughs> oh, I'm loving that. That is fantastic. Sepia. That really makes you think you're going a bit vintage here. Okay, let's just turn that off for now. There we go. That's it. They're spinning around. Let's see if we can get a camera view inside 
There we go. That is the one I'm thinking of. And you spin it around and you're like, oh my goodness me, there goes my lunch. But it also gives you a nice view of what else is going on in the park as well. So I've got some really good ideas. I've got some amazing sci-fi stuff that I want to use as well. I want to look at all the vintage stuff. But for another episode, I want to build like a sci-fi section of a park. Um, and I've got, uh, there's like all the other DLCs which I haven't got yet that I really would like to take a look at. So this is what I want you guys and girls to tell me. Whether it's, whoa, something you would like to see on my channel again. And, uh, yeah, we can get stuck back into that. That would be fantastic. Did we actually open this ride? We did. Everything's connected up. So we're waiting just for some people. We could sort of speed this up a bit. There we go. Wow, here they come. Here they come. We could do with bins and scenery and things. That's something I'll, I'll work on a bit another time. Aha! Right, let's just slow this down. So it's already going even though there's nobody on it. So if I stop it and then start it again. Oh, it makes everybody disappear. It's open. Come in within. Right, let's wait for some people to get on. Right, here we go. We're on the ride camera. Let's see how this goes. And then we're going to put some of the larger rides in as well. Quick sip of tea before it starts. Ah, uh, we're ready to go. Right. Whenever you're ready, start it up. Have you ever been on one of these? You don't even strap yourself in. You just sort of hold onto the bars like you can see them doing over there. And the centrifugal force holds you back in your seat. I'm quite excited. Oh, there's some more people coming on. He's excited as well. Nice shirt, buddy. And we're off. Here we go. Hold on to your pork pies. Hope you didn't eat too much for lunch. This is going to go nuts. Oh, Oh, put my cup of tea away. Don't want to spill that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Wait until it starts lifting up. It's coming. It's coming. Any second now. I love these old cranky ones. But where I used to live, uh, further down south, there used to be like an old vintage fair that used to come along. And it didn't have all of the, 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 the big things that are in this pack. But it had some of these really cratchety old cranky right. Here it goes. It's going up and down like this one. This is one of the ones. And it's the up and the down and the twisting and the, oh my goodness, bringing back memories. I should really play this on my Oculus Rift <laughs> and do some of these rides. That would be fantastic. Whoa, people are queuing up. They're looking for it. I absolutely used to love stuff like this. Fantastic. Right, okay, let us... We'll jump out of that. Everybody's enjoying that one. Right, what else have we got? I want to stick a big one at the back here. Um, let us have a look at... We've got these, uh, where was the one I was looking for? Coasters, yeah. We've got some big built-in coasters. We've got Surf Avenue, which is pretty big. There we go. And we've also, it's drawn itself in. So that is, if I believe correctly, it's like a big old wooden coaster. And we've got the Twist and Tussle, which I think looks fantastic. And you sort of ride on a, let's spin that around. Let's put that opposite here. So where are people going in on this one? It looks like the entrances are here. Yes, there we go. Look, you can see the entrance and exit. So let's... Come on, stop snapping where we don't want it. Let us put that. Can I close that and keep that? No, I can't. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, let's try that again. Let's make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Right, let's squeeze this in here. There we go. The twist and tussle. Let's hook this up and then we'll give this a try. Oh, increased capacity. We need more staff buildings. Yeah, just just deal with it, people. Just deal with it, people. We're we're um. Uh, oh no, hang on. I don't want that. I want the path for this one. So let's go straight down for that. Yep. And this one's got to be Q. So we'll go down for there. Have I got to get a flat bit on? Uh, oh, okay. It looks like that's going straight in. Can I not curve that round the corner here? No, okay, well, we'll connect that up straight there and we'll sort of see how that goes. Let us give this thing... I mean, look at the detail inside here. Absolutely, I have to say, absolutely stunning. Brilliant stuff. You hear the hum of the lights as well. Hello there, how are you doing? Are you enjoying... Yep, yeah, good, you're enjoying it. Let's look at his controls. Can we sneak a look in here? <laughs> All sorts of stuff going on. Let's give this thing a test. So this is... Yeah, this is a cool coaster that just runs in this track. So if we go... Oh, there we go. We'll click on there. 
So we'll give this a test run. We'll jump into the ride camera and we'll go right in the front. So it sort of runs on a rail and then it just... There we go, we're lifting ourselves up. And then it just sort of sits. It's like a massive big roller skate. Skateboard is the word I'm looking for. Luge. There we go. It's like a massive luge. This is it. And you're inside this wood here. And the thing can move around. And it's not held on by anything else. I think this is fantastic. Let's, let's, just, <laughs> let's give this a go. I've never actually been on something like this. It looks... Running under its own speed. I mean, the engineering that goes into these things... Absolutely brilliant. Oh, picking up speed. It's got to get all the way up to the top there, so that's going to be a bit of a drop, isn't it? And here we go, going down the big drop on the other side. Again, looking at all the detail on the, the metal on the side and the screws and the hinges. Fantastic work, Frontier. Well done, well done. There we go. So I think this one is ready to open to the public. Let's get that one open. Let's stop that. Why is it not letting me start it? Something something is awry with this one. Can I open as the ride is untested? Oh, what? it's actually making me test it. Okay, you test that then. And then we'll actually get that one open. So how are these going? We've got some cues. We've got some cues. Well, let's look at what else we've got that we can add in so coasters we have this one here surf avenue which is pretty pretty massive so i definitely want to get that set up and i'm thinking maybe this is a, a cool looking wooden coaster we'll try and get that yeah over this side over here yep there we go i think we're pretty much lined up it says intersecting terrain what What's going on? Does this need to sort of dip down somewhere and have... Uh, that's really weird. Okay, can I just move it up and have it... Oh, there we go. Yes, we can. We can move it up a bit. Let's get that as close to the ground as we can. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. So let's hook this thing up as well with some cues and paths and stuff. There we go. Look at this thing. Look at this old crashity wooden coaster. So we obviously need to give this a test run as well. So let's jump in right at the front. We can manoeuvre which seat we're in, can't we? Yes, we can. Let's, I feel like I want to be on the right-hand side. There we go. Let's give this thing a go. I love the sounds of these as well. So I'm just going to let this, let this ride go and we can listen to the sounds. Here comes the drop. Whoa, boy. Woohoo! <laughs> Love it. Love it. Right, let's take a look at this. So this is the hurricane. Can we open that straight up? We can. And I believe this is going to lift up and start spinning around as well. We need some more vendors. Lots of people complaining about not enough vendors. Let's get a couple of vendors in here. And we'll add another one there. There you go. You go off and work in the shops. People are already queuing up for this one. 
Excellent. And then I also want to stick another one over in this space as well. So we've got the loop de loop, the round the world. Oh, yeah. We're going to have both of those down there. Let's just take a look at this one first. We'll go into our camera view. We'll go into the cinematic view. Yep, and we'll enjoy this one. Here we go. It is off. I think, is this going to lift up and down as well? Or is it just a straight spinning ride? I can't remember. Even so, that old vintage spin, everybody loves it. So look at that. Well, let's, um, let's jump out of that. And let's put these other two down here. I'm going to run this path along here. No security guards, I know. There we go. Let's open up these two. Uh, whoops, there we go. Let me click on there. We'll open up that one. Yeah, I think this one is already opened up. Yeah, that's just waiting for some guests to come in. Yeah, people... Oh, people are queuing up for this one. They are absolutely loving it. How's our other ones go? Oh, wow, look. Look at all the people. Where are they? There they are, look. They're going to come swooping down up there, down the drop. I want to see their faces when they come down this big drop up here. Let's sort of get halfway down. Here they come. <laughs> oh, I love watching the people enjoy these rides. This is fantastic. This is, this is the bit we want to see as they come around the corner. We need security guards. I know, I know. You keep telling me. I keep saying I know. Here they come. Oh, they got stuck. Quick, close down the park. Everyone, oh no, here they come. Woohoo! They're loving it. Right, okay. Oh, people have quit. Okay, there's a lot more management stuff that's been added since the last time I played as well. And this is the one. Oh, yeah, remember this. This goes upside down, doesn't it? Oh, yes. I remember this one. Yeah, there we go. That is the view you want. Whoa. Very cool, very cool. And then we've got 2%. I want to go on loop-to-loop. -loop. And then this one here, if I remember correctly, while you're inside here, that's it. You can, like, rock it. You can grab a thing. You can spin it around like that. Look at that while it's going around anyway. Lots of G-forces getting your cups of tea and your burgers spilled all over the place. Oh, my giddy aunt. Yeah, I've been on that before. I remember that one. That is looking very, very nice. Well, let's take a look at these vintage amusements. These things look fantastic. Let's just turn that around a bit. So that's all built in under the bottom there. It's like an all-in-one. There we go. Look at that. People can queue up and win all sorts of things. I believe these are possibly screens that we could add to. But what have we got? We've got the gumball machine... Uh, Zoltan popcorn machine and the vintage claw crane. Fantastic. Oh, we're missing some vendors. I'll get that sorted out in a moment. Oh, but look at these. These are brilliant. So that will try and... What's that say over there? Oh, yeah, we could put some letters and stuff on there, couldn't we? Long queue times. Yeah, we'll get to that. Oh, I think that looks really cool with that on there. What else have we got? Uh, shops and facilities... Oh, man, we've got the vintage park entrance. We've looked at that. Victorian toilet. Yes, we do not have any loos for our people. Let's maybe utilize this uh, this space here with some Victorian toilet. Let's sort of put that in the middle there. There we go. And it looks like that might just have to be moved around a bit. So let us do that. 
Can we do that? Is it going to let us move it? Yep. Yeah, X is what I want to press. And we'll just sort of lower that onto the ground. There we go. Excellent. And we'll connect that up. There we go. I'm getting all the shortcuts again. I'm remembering how it all works. Is that going to let me... Oh, it's not going to quite go where I want it to go. We'll just do it there. And I think... Is that another entrance at the back? No, there isn't. Cool. Very good. Well, we could just move this thing then, couldn't we? Just to line it up. So if we do that and do X and do this... There we go. Excellent. So we've got our Victorian toilet. Very nice. And what else have we got? We've got even more. We've got even more. So we've got the Victorian Hotel. This is a pretty, pretty big building. I've got our Baroque buildings there. Oh, man, this Victorian Hotel looks absolutely amazing. So I, I'm going to be putting some of these things down. They may get moved around at a later date. Um, but I just want to check out what's in this pack. So I'm assuming that's the entrance there. There we go. So if we pop that nice and close to the edge, like that, and then if we select that and do X and do X again, we can rotate that and line it up a little bit nicer. There we go. And we can take a look at the detail on this thing. Look at that. There's the entrance. Please come in. Come and enjoy the hotel. Wow. That is one funky looking building. I, funky in a good way. I really like that. Very good, very good. What else have we got? Let's just have a look on here. We're definitely filtered by vintage. Yeah. So, Victorian food shop. Uh, we could put that over here next to these rides. Has that got more than one entrance? Yes, it has. It's got four. So, if we put like a little food court on here. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Brilliant. So, we've got a pizza pen. Cheap beast pizza pen. Oh, that's the back there, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what. Let us... Let us rotate this thing around. We'll put the back entrance by the back. And we'll keep all the food to the front and the sides. I think that's that's okay. Yep, there we go. So what have we got? Hot dog squad, pizza pen, and of course, chief beef. Oh, didn't quite line up. There we go. Excellent. Everybody happy? Yes, everybody's happy. Good, good, good. That is looking rather snazzy. And then uh, we've got the drink shop, which does the same thing. Maybe we could spread that out. He's retired. People are retiring all over the place. Well, let me know what you think in the comments about the new vintage Planet Coaster stuff that's been added to the game. I've been loving it. I've just sort of thrown a load of stuff down. We've got a rough sort of park going here, and I've been really enjoying it. So would you like to see some more? If so, let me know in the comments. Leave a nice thumbs up as well. There we go. That was my quick look at all the new vintage stuff. And just so you know, it's coming home. I shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hit the big B with the tea stain. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.